Hi and welcome to a brand new round of Stamps in the Mail Club. So if you've been watching my Stamps in the Mail Club videos for a while, now February is the time to jump in. The stamp set we're using is Happy Watercolor and I absolutely adore this stamp set. It has so many great pieces in it and you will see why as I show you some projects. So I'm going to go ahead and open my first packet of everything that is pre-die cut and cut and arranged and embellished and so forth. Um, I have one of the watercolor wonder um, cards. These come, they're watercolor paper and they come pre-printed like this. There's a couple different ones in the um, package so your um, exact piece may vary just a little bit for Stamps in the Mail Club but you can um, use them for whatever you like. I'm just going to fold over this piece of gold vellum foil. Isn't it gorgeous? And then take a piece of snail and run it along the back so that we have our vellum ready to tuck around the front of the card. And this card is based on one that was um, designed by Sarah Saggart. She's an artisan award winner. And okay, I managed to get this totally crooked. So let me try that again. Anyway, um, Sarah designed a similar card for um, a Founder Circle Retreat, which is when I got the stamp set last fall. So I've been so excited to use it. Now that it's available, I can. And I'm going to use the, um, I don't know, their delphinium or whatever they are, orchids, columbine, something like that, um, stamp, and just put that there on the side so that it's peeking out. And then I have a piece of watercolor paper here that is um, cut with the deco label um, piece and or deco label framelits and I am going to show you my favorite stamp in the whole set it is this baby here which doesn't look all that crazy special until you stamp it and you realize that whoa look at that one stamp like a whole bunch of different graded colors isn't that an awesome effect so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp right over that in smoky slate if you are using your Stamps in the Mail Club kit, you are using markers, so you'll want to use your markers instead of your stamps, um, or instead of your ink pads, because that's what's in the kit. And then I'm going to use this little speckle, which has that sort of same graded effect, and add some speckles here at the tops and bottoms of our um, piece. Isn't that just really fun? Uh, okay, the other thing that's included in Stamps in the Mail this month is the Watercolor Wonder washi tape, designer washi tape, which is the gold one. Uh, and I'm going to cut, um, tear. Washi tape's all about tearing. Um, just a little bit of it there and stick it down under and then wrap it around to the back. So there we have our little washi tape piece. All right. And then this element is going to go ahead and get stuck down. Now, usually you can't put adhesive on the back of vellum because it shows through. Kind of see how that adhesive shows. Yeah, it's harder to see here. Um, adhesive shows through a little bit, but since we are going to stick a big element on top of it, it's not a big deal, so adhere away. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals, aka Poppy Yuppie things here on the back of our tag. And this gets positioned down here towards the, you know, bottom third of our card. And then there is a piece of gorgeous Baker's Twine. So um, you're going to go ahead and tie a bow. So if you haven't tied a bow around nothing before, here's my quick tutorial. You're going to make a loop and just pinch it. And then, like you're tying shoes with kindergartners, the bunny goes around the tree and through the hole. And just pull your ends. And look, there you have a bow around nothing. So that makes this a really quick and cute embellishment to add to things. You don't have to put any holes and stuff or have any extra layers and I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot of um, green lid glue there and add my bow. Okay. Now green lid glue doesn't grab instantly. It takes a second for it to dry enough to grab so you're going to want to set that there for a second. Here we'll put something heavier on it. Alright and meanwhile I have this piece of gold sequin trim and the gold sequins they just slide right off the edge here and I think I want, oh let's call it five for this project. If you slide those off, then you can go ahead and take your green lid glue again and just put a little dot wherever you want your sequins to stick. I think I'll put one here and one over here. All right, and then sequins from your trim, just lay right on there. And yeah, don't lose your glue spots. <laughs> I'm losing my glue spots here. There we go. And then these sequins, they add a really nice extra little bit of bling here. They're super shiny 
and gold is all the rage. Everything's gold right now, so get your gold jewelry out again. And there we have our finished note card, all ready to go. Here's one, another one from the package that's just a little bit different um, color wise. The um, watercolor note cards have a variety. There's four different designs in there, uh, five different designs actually. So you get um, several of each, and a great way to kind of vary your design. So. Hope you are excited about this round of Happy Watercolor and new Stamps in the Mail Club.